We now return to the culture with your host, Mr. Irrelevant, Seven, Mitchell. All right, Kate Dose, February 7th, BB Kings, New York. It's going down. Queen of the Ring does it again. Watch the throne too. Let's get into these predictions. Yes, sir. And that radio shit. Let's get into it. Yeah, this this first one, we, it just got announced not too long ago, so we got to lock in with it, man. Mr. Cave Gang from the Dot Mob. Tay Rock versus the Girl C3. This is Bananas. Who you got, my nigga? Oh, man, I'm going with Tay Rock, man. Gunbar King, nigga. That's mm. why. Oh, that's that's light. How many gun bars is Tay Rock going to have for C3? That, that's all I want to know because, first of all, for this battle, Tay Rock can't afford to lose this battle. I know y'all probably thinking out there, oh, so it's the, you bug it. I'm not. My nigga Tay Rock had possibly the best year of battle rap last year, right? For him to come into 2016, February 7th, and lose to C3, a female battle rapper at that, not saying that she's not dope. Don't get me wrong. This is not a biasness or any kind of feminist speaking at all. But let's be real. After the year Tay Rock had, we come into this battle and lose to C3. It's not going to be looking good for my man for the rest of the year. So I got Tay Rock beating C3. I'll give C3 a round. I'm not going to disrespect C3. You know, so I'm going to give her a round. But I got, I got Tay Rock winning that. I can't disagree with nothing you said at the end of the day. Tay Rock is a problem. He arguably had the best year of 2015. Um, my only thing is, it's clear that Tay Rock is outside of his element this particular battle. We have not seen him battle a female before. We have not really seen him battle off the URL as much, especially as of late. Right. Um, you, you know my gripe with C3. I feel like C3 is dope and she always put on, but she don't never win the battles at the end of the day. That's a fact. So I'm kind of, you know, I've always been shaky on C3, but I feel like by this being a home game, you know, Tay Rock is outside his element. I feel like all the disrespectful shit that he got for C3, it might just get wrapped up in one round. I'm not quite sure you know how this angle is going to be for Rock going against C3 so I'm going to be a little bit blasphemous and disrespectful off the top I'm going to edge this upset to C3 I know mm. I'm being real disrespectful because you know Tay Rock is my guy but I'm going to just go out on the limb this is my one and only you know what I'm saying this is betrayal ain't disrespectful this is betrayal this is betrayal I'm going to say C3 over Tay Rock this is betrayal yes sir betrayal let's get into another <laughs> Um, Miss Merck versus Marasha. Now, I've been asking the streets about the girl Marasha from down the south. Right. Southern battle rappers been fired. They tell me she the real deal. Um, she gonna have to prove it to me, Dozy. I'm not sure. Miss Merck, I've seen it in the ring. She a little bit seasoned. I think they both fire. I'm not trying to take nothing away from either skill set. Right. But Marasha gonna have to prove the shit to me. But I've already seen Miss Merck doing the ring. I got Miss Merck two to one. Who you, who you got? Well... The exact reason you said she might lose is the exact reason why I think she's gonna win, bro. I don't think I think people, you know, tend to tend to put too a little too much emphasis on who's who's had more battles or who's more seasoned. Let's be real. I think Marasha has better balls. So with that being said, I think Marasha's gonna win. I think it's gonna be clear to one. It'll be a dope battle. This could be battle tonight. It's, it's, it's going under the radar. These girls are really promoting the battle real well. Big ups to Marasha. Big up to Miss Murray. They really one of the few that's been really promoting their battle real heavy on social media. So I like the way that's going. Um, another battle. This was supposed to go down the No Hose Bar 2 early last year. Um, the girl Toy Doe, arguably number two, I believe, in my top five female battle rap. She'll be locked in against the girl Couture. Um, who you got in this battle? Cause I got I got Toy clear two one. I don't think Couture. I mean I got Toy Doe two to one. I don't think Couture is ready for this. Toy Doe two one. Harlem in the building. She got the swag. She got bars. She got charisma. She got everything you want in a battle rapper, my G. So to me, it's, it's not even a, it's not it's not even a debate for me, man. Toy Doe two one. Thanks. 
Now the next joint we got real disrespectful type of shit. Mm. We got the girl from the BX from the dot mob saying that Ashley locked in with the most disrespectful Miss QB Black Dot. This is gonna be crazy. Shout out to Shayna first of all. I'm so in why that track is bananas, y'all. Go check that shit out. Support, download Shayna Ashley. She got some dope fire coming out. Um, just released, but as far as this battle, my nigga, I don't know you. I just feel like QB just like too much for Shane. And I, she just too much, you know what I'm saying? But I just think that the level of disrespect, she gonna take it there. You know, the battle, it's not gonna get out of hand, but I just think QB gonna be on her shit. This is her return. She hasn't been in the ring in a while, so I got QB over Shane at 2-1. Who you got? Same thing, bro. QB over Shane, mm. but I'm gonna go 3-0. Three I'm gonna go three zero with an edge, edge every round three zero. Um, the aggression, I know QB gonna bring the disrespect. They be more disrespectful than what Shayna may bring, and I think she gonna have the crowd on her side too. And that's starting to matter more in these battles now more than anything now. Man, the crowd is rocking with you. Then it's almost like, well, damn, the crowd is rocking with her. What can we say? That's fast. And, and, and that's one thing that concerned me, not to backtrack, about the Marasha battle, because Marasha got a lot of charisma. She got a lot of personality, and I think the fans really do cater to her, so that really could help her out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know you feel like she got more bars in this movie, but, you know, that's something to look out for. But as far as this battle, like you said, um, I, like, I, I agree. I, I just feel like QB is going to show up. Shiny going to show up, too, but I got QB yes, um, in this battle. Now this two on two, I'm so hyped for my nigga because I've been yeah. begging for this. I've been begging for this. I asked and campaigned for this before it even went down. Yeah. Uh, a couple people in the Facebook debate group as well had, had been campaigning for this. Favor funeral and show you the rapper versus Nina Cruz and see the boss. Who you got? Yo, see the boss. Nina Cruz is gonna pull the upset. Mm. It's go. It's gonna she shock. Tested. They gonna shock the world, she drug bro. Tested. Bro, I'm gonna fail that. I'm gonna let you know right mm. now. I'm gonna fail the mm. judge here. But mm. that being said, it got nothing to do with the judge I got in my system. It has everything to do with I think C the Boss and Nina Cruz they are already looking at his underdogs, a la um, Chess and Steams versus NWX. I I think we're gonna see them have possibly either the same amount of chemistry or even more. And I think it's gonna be an upset, bro. I think people are gonna be shocked at what they see. I'm going to say this, and I know we talked about this a little bit before. Right. I, I feel like at the end of the battle, it's going to be like that Danny Myers a feel. Like we might get the changing of the guard. Yeah. You know, I think Nina and see the boss is going to put on where it's going. We're going to see, you know, a, a new wave in Queen of the Ring. But as far as this battle, yo, I, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, Shuni and Fama are the best at this shit. If there is two girls that could potentially give them problems, it could be these two. It could potentially be Forty and Bonnie, but... You know, this particular two-on-two matchup, yo, I just got favorite and Shirley holding it down, as always. Um, but like I said, at the end of the battle, it could be a change in the regard. Um, Nina, I, I pretty much feel like she probably locked in. I, I really hate the, the bet against Nina, because every time I bet against Nina, she always make a fool of me with these predictions. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep it 100, but, you know, I'm going to go with the vets on this one. Uh, but it is going to be a good one. I predict this one to be battle of the night. Um, and for the main event, you know what I'm saying, what we have is, 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 is just like history in the making. We got the girl e -Hart versus 40 ba double R s 40 bars. Who you got in this battle, my nigga? I got 40 bars, 3-0, my nigga. Like, mm. it, 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 it's not even, it's not even, she seems so focused, bro. I seen footage of her barking at everybody, including e -Hart, outside the building. I see her barking at Polo Saga, Polo Saga, po Polo Saga. She was wait, barking wait, on him. Wait, you don't give E Heart one round against 40 bars? No, not not 40 bars now that just got beat by Jazz in her last battle. Nah. I'm so disrespectful. I can't see that. Hey, I'm sorry if I'm disrespectful, but hey, I see the way it is. There's no way E Heart is going to out bar 40 bars. I'm going to say this, and, and, and I'm going to say this, and I said this before on, on the radio, we had a debate show, me and Brother Jeff, we did this. Um, shout out Brother Jeff. Yeah, shout out Brother Jeff. 
Um, I, I just feel like after the loss that 40 took from Jazz, I don't feel like there's another battle rapper that's going to beat 40 bars. If she lose another battle, it's going to be because exactly. of her exactly. preparation. Exactly. I feel like um, she going to lose. But the thing about it, though, E-Heart, she, even though she's a vet and, and she arguably have not lost a battle yet, um, she looks better to me when she's like kind of the underdog. You know, even in the battle versus official, the gladiator school battle that she right. had, she wasn't really, I don't think, favored to win, but she showed up both of those battles sharp. That's the fact. That's the um, fact. So she is coming in this battle to me as an underdog, but I just don't think, I, I just feel like your 40 just went through the storm already with the jazz battle. You know, and it's and it's just it's just moving up, moving forward. So I'm gonna give E Hard a round, you know, because I ain't gonna be as disrespectful as you is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna definitely go 40 bars two to one. But it'll be a dope battle. Shout out Queen of the Ring, Debo, Babs, Bunny, Dave, the Shooters, the Rep, the Brad, Facebook, the Bait Group, the OTF, Facebook, the Bait Group. We salute all female battle rap. T7 on radio, man. We locked in. Join us five days a week. 347-989-8102 on T7M Radio. Myself, Five days a week, y'all. K Dog. Five days. The whole T7M Radio network, man. We got nothing but battle rap content for y'all. 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, man. Lock in with us. We appreciate y'all, man. Stay safe. Happy New Year's. Watch the throne to February 7th. It's going down. Queen of the Ring shit, man. You already know what it is. We out of here. Dozy. Yes, sir.